Hi, this is Dr. Bob. I'm back for the third part of our educational series on E202 as a monitoring tool for safe rapid sequence intubation, where we take a deeper look into rapid sequence intubation pre-oxygenation equipment and its usage. In this final video segment, we will review the equipment utilized during RSI and specifically how an ESCO module can be connected to the breathing circuit. First, during pre-oxygenation, the clinician will commonly rely on use of a bag valve mask. The bag valve is connected to an oxygen supply on one end, and at the patient end, several devices are connected in series in order to complete the breathing circuit. First, the face mask is placed over the mouth and nose of the patient with a snug fit that often requires a second set of hands. The airway adapter is then attached and connects with the HMEF filter. This filter helps prevent contamination of the breathing circuit by bacteria and viruses, which is of increased interest given the recent concerns surrounding infections from COVID-19. Closing the breathing circuit, the HMEF filter is connected to the bag to allow airflow between the bag and the patient. Lastly, the airway adapter is connected to the ESCO module via the gas sampling line that provides continuous information on airway gases used during pre-oxygenation. Speaking of pre-oxygenation, this series of graphics helps to visualize the process of pre-oxygenation and what data stream displays one may expect to see from the ESCO module. Once the bag valve mask is secured on the patient, notice how the end tidal oxygen and carbon dioxide will change from 35 and 8 respectively. Oxygen will be delivered at an FiO2 of 100%. And note, in the bottom screen, where the ETO2 now reads 85%, indicating desired pre-oxygenation has been attained. In addition, notice that the ETCO2 has decreased slightly. The reason for this is that mild hyperventilation commonly occurs during bag valve mask pre-oxygenation. Once the pre-oxygenation target is achieved, the RSI procedure will ensue. Following the administration of intravenous sedative and paralytic agents, intubation can now occur and then a switch of the patient's breathing circuit to a mechanical ventilator. The airway adapter and HMEF filter are disconnected from the bag valve mask and connected to the endotracheal tube and to the breathing circuit. Now the ESCO module can be used to monitor end expiratory oxygen and carbon dioxide of the intubated patient. And in closing, this video presentation should help better illustrate where the use of a gas analyzer to measure FiO2 and ETO2 can provide a reliable measure of patient oxygenation during RSI.